Hey guys, Joe here, founder of CCI, and today I am interviewing our head analyst, Sam. Really excited to pull back the curtains and share with you his experience, his journey as well in crypto, but also with our team over here. And to give you a bit more insight into exactly what Sam does uh, for our clients and also other things that he does to support within the business to help our clients get the incredible results that they do. So um, first and foremost, Sam, thank you so much for taking the time out of your day uh, to have a chat and, and also reveal uh, a bit about your experience and journey with everyone else. Thanks, mate. Um, really appreciate being here and yeah, looking forward to sharing some insight and how I came to be here. It's um, It's been an incredible journey. Yeah, absolutely, mate. So uh, why don't you fire off and maybe share uh, with people that are watching, how did you first get into crypto? What did that journey look like for you? Yeah, I, I don't think it's too dissimilar to a lot of people or investors. Um, I, I worked um, as a business manager in a, you know, a large corporation and I was just sort of sitting there each day. I, I, it wasn't really stimulating for me. I, I enjoyed writing. I enjoyed you know, investing personally, um, traditional finance. I seemed to be pretty good at it as well. But, um, you know, it never was my full-time occupation, um, but it was always pulling me towards it. But it never really hit me full on until I discovered cryptocurrency. And that for me was the big aha moment. And when you get, I guess in the industry, we call it orange peeled. When you learn about Bitcoin and you start to hear about, uh, or you start to learn about, I guess, what the potential is, where it's going, it, it really hits you hard because you see the potential, the future, uh, and also, I'm not going to lie, you see the potential gains, you see the success you can have. Um, you know, if you're, if you're earning, you know, a standard wage in a, in a corporate job or, you know, you're in a business, you're just slugging along, you're looking to get ahead uh, constantly. You're trying to beat inflation, which is a big hot button topping at the moment. Uh, you're looking to, you know, set the, uh, set the foundation for your future and your family, but it is incredibly hard these days. And at that time in my life, I was looking for a way to jump significantly ahead um, and, and really move forward quite quickly. But uh, you do learn that if you try and do that too quickly, it can often backfire. Uh, but uh, you know, for me, it was an incredible learning experience. And I, I went pretty hard in cryptocurrency at the beginning and, and learned as much as I could at the beginning. But you do almost have a deer in the headlights sort of moment where you see you get blinded by the potential and, and, and the future a little bit too much and the success. And there was a lot of learning experiences that I had uh, at the beginning. But I think the real important thing is once all that had settled after the big boom and bust in 2017-18, when I, when I entered the space, um, not only is it very exciting, not only did I have you know, tremendous success doing it, uh, but you learn and you build and you stay in the space, you stay in the industry and you know that it has staying power. Um, and you can see through a lot of that noise and signal that a lot of you know, people just lose themselves in, lose interest, move away. But I, I saw tremendous uh, potential and I couldn't get it out of my system. It was in my blood. Um, again, like a lot of people, you, you learn about Bitcoin, you invest uh, and, and you just can't get it out of you out of your head and uh, it was a it was a quick journey and I, I pivoted as quickly as possible into this space and I remember reaching out to a few people I knew in cryptocurrency at the time and um, you know it was a bit of a down market and and whatnot and there wasn't a lot of opportunity and, and then I saw uh, what CCI was doing and, and really looking into the uh, the educational side of things with, uh, you know, high net worth investors and interested investors. I mean, they're not people that uh, don't want to invest in this space. They're interested, they're keen, but they want to learn how to do it safely and, and with um, a professional eye on, you know, the most secure way and, and all that to get into the space. So uh, that drew me the legitimacy side of things. I just, I wanted to get involved in the education, um, educational aspect of crypto. And uh, yeah, I, I moved through that lens and approached you, reached out, and uh, I think I sent you a message and just said, look, I, I want to get into crypto and CCI. What can I do for you? Can I get you coffee? Um, <laughs> can I write for you? Because I was writing blogs but personally by myself um, for free, just on Medium and, and elsewhere about, about crypto, about Bitcoin. And um, I, I enjoyed it so much, but there was no pathway for me to enter the space and educate people. I was educating friends and family around me. Uh, but you know, uh, I had to I had to move forward somehow, and I did. I reached out, and uh, yeah, it's um, it's all history from there. And uh, you gave me an opportunity, and and here we are today. And uh, right now, I'm I've moved on to educating our our advanced clients, and it's just a tremendous uh, journey. And it's happened in the space of what three to four years, 
of coming from that, that corporate background, traditional finance investing uh, into this amazing revolutionary space that keeps scaling, getting bigger, more money's piling into the space. Don't believe anyone that says that it isn't. And, uh, you know, we're just seeing more and more people have that aha moment that I had. Um, and I know you had as well a bit earlier than myself. I'm a bit jealous there on that one, but we all get to that point. And it's, it's all about what you do when you reach that point. Are you going to, you know, invest a little bit, learn a little bit, walk away, get disinterested, or are you going to double down, lean in and learn as much as you can um, during these phases? So I guess that's where I sit um, and I couldn't be happier um, where I am at the moment. And I guess my niche, my specific uh, area where I, I feel I can impart the most expertise is, is macro. I, I love it you know, zooming out, looking at the bigger picture um, with our clients. And I, the biggest thing I, I believe I have learned over this whole phase is macro is everything. Um, so crypto is totally um, joined at the hip with traditional finance and what happens in the bigger picture in the outside world, because it is so immature, so small, uh, I could come in with that traditional background and, and investing and looking at the larger picture geopolitics. I, I just love it. I, the history, I, I just get into it really hard. And I brought that over to crypto and just saw there was a massive gap um, of expertise. It was lacking. And I felt it has just lended this extra level to our clients where um, they can see what's around the next corner without the market blindsiding them with a, you know, a drawdown or, or going up, you know, hundred percent. It, it all is joined quite intricately to traditional finance. And I think that's what a lot of um, other educational platforms really lack. It's all about looking at the short term signal, you know, um, technical analysis, fundamental, fundamental analysis. Sure. But you have to look at the broader picture, what's happening in adoption, what's happening with uh, federal reserve policy, um, and uh, yeah, I, I find that incredibly enjoying. A lot of people find it quite boring, but um, I, I absolutely uh, enjoy it to bits. Yeah, that's awesome. Thanks so much for sharing that, Sam. You, you jumped through about three questions. That I, was <laughs> I suspected. <laughs> kind of answered all of them, which was fantastic. So, and for anyone watching, uh, I guess it's, it's probably worthwhile sharing where Sam's journey came from and where he's at now. So when he first came on, he was doing a lot of writing for us. Uh, engaging content and putting a lot of free stuff out into the market. Then he started to manage our clients and that's really where his expertise are right now. So um, Sam manages predominantly our mastermind clients, which are uh, typically our six, seven and even eight figure investors and just goes really, really in depth with them. Every single day he's in there understanding what's going on in the market, relaying that information. What, what would you say, Sam, because you've helped so many of our clients get up to that seven and eight figure level, what have been the big things that you feel you've shared with them that's been able to help them get to that kind of level? Yeah, so kind of expanding on what we were talking about just, just before, I think it's the macro side of things, looking at the bigger picture, how dominoes fall together, um, for, for example, uh, we saw the Evergrande collapse in China um, before it happened. We heard whispers, we were, we were across it. And if you look at how it, it falls in a domino, uh, the pressure in China affects the global economy through X, Y, and Z, and then it will hit uh, US markets and global markets just via either sentiment, maybe not through fundamentals just yet, but sentiment-wise, it can really provide a lot of um, pressure on overall markets, which will in turn affect uh, crypto, uh, Bitcoin by extension. So um, that for me was a really big win. And also looking into how uh, the bond market works, um, how inflationary pressures are really he heating up. And we also covered extensively before it happened, the uh, the Russian-Ukraine situation, which geopolitics is, is increasingly becoming an area where we have to really focus on because it has such profound consequences for global markets. And then uh, via supply and demand, inflation, it all trickles down to crypto and Bitcoin and where it's at in its uh, maturity cycle. Uh, and at any given point, it, as it is quite mature and it can, it can feel that stress. So it's something we have to pay attention to. Yeah, and I might add to that, uh, we are incredibly lucky that Sam specializes in Russian history, uh, <laughs> particularly around war. He's actually writing a novel on it uh, as we speak, which it, it, it was so coincidental that he had so much depth of knowledge around this. So he was always 10 steps ahead of what everyone else was sharing because he had such uh, insight on it, which was incredible. 
Uh, I think that really helped our investors get ahead and grasp the severity of the situation and then how to act uh, out of that. Uh, yep. Awesome. Yeah, thanks for sharing that. And I guess a, a last kind of question for you, given that you've been on both sides of the fence in the sense that before you were kind of just investing on your own and figuring things out and moving through the motions and now you've worked with us and you've had training over the years and you've developed a lot as yourself and you've also seen uh, over a thousand clients come through the process now and work with us and seen their transitions their experience uh, that they go through what would you say are maybe the three biggest things that you would advise to someone who's maybe watching this that isn't a client at ccis or that is kind of just having a, a go, having a punt, as um, Australians might say, what would you say to those guys to give them some insight and guidance and um, some wisdom maybe from your experience over the, the, the last several years? Yeah, um, again, expanding on maybe what we spoke about at the beginning, it's try and block out that noise, especially in these very sentiment-driven markets, there is a tremendous amount of noise which can would cause you to make some tremendously bad financial decisions as well as some tremendously good financial decisions. But I think it's all about how, uh, you, what your understanding is on how to manage that. If you're, if you're going into something with eyes wide open, you know it's a, a play that is, is riding that sentiment, then sure. But are you experienced enough? Do you have the acumen to actually act on that appropriately and manage your own risk? And I think just, you know, when you feel that hype, you really have to put it to one side. And like we do in our course, we really pull apart these projects and top down, we, we have to go through it. And then we, we analyze that side of things with the sentiment because it is a component, but it is not the primary aspect that we look at uh, because it can burn so many people. And I think you'll find um, just if you're watching this, you know, if you go on Facebook, Twitter, you see the bag holder mentality. You see a lot of people that came into the space um, following that hype and they become part of a large cohort, a large community that don't know what they're doing with their coins. They, they get that tribalism and they stay within that cohort and they just don't know how to break it and it be, can become quite mentally unhealthy. Um, you know, as an investor, it's, I think it's just so important to identify that and realize what you're doing. You're, you're investing for a specific purpose and you need to have a plan and a process in place. And if you don't, you will become a bag holder and be stuck in that phase. Um, and I guess uh, something else for me, with the, one of the biggest things I've learned is patience. Mm. You, you, can, you can come into this the cryptocurrency investing sphere thinking you know overnight you're going to make it big and in a way you can if you get very very lucky but i have learned that if you avoid that short-term mindset and really lay the pillars and foundations for that longer term time horizon if you're looking outside the the one month <laughs> at least you know you're looking forward to the, the 12 to 24 even the next five to 10 years if you have a plan for all those you will be absolutely fine uh, and a lot of our bigger investors, um, the, the larger successes, um, you know, it's all based on their risk profile, but the longer term successes, it's all from patience and laying those seeds appropriately along the way. Do not get distracted by the noise and the signal. Just maintain your process, maintain your plan and identify the market cycle. I think that's a big one that new investors don't understand either. And it was a, a problem for me when I first got into the space too. I, I invested without understanding the maturation of the cycle. And if you're investing, it, this cycle is a, bit, a little bit different, but the previous cycles we all know have adhered to that four year Bitcoin halving, right? Yeah. Uh, and if you're getting into the end of a parabolic movement in the market, which you know, so many people do based on that hype, um, you will be stuck in that phase and, and won't have a plan to exit. So uh, I think patience is, is a, a massive thing in this market and learning those market cycles, exactly when to enter and when to exit, playing your probabilities, managing your risk um, is super important. And having a strategy around it of entry yep. and exit positions rather than, like you said, being a bag holder because those bags can get empty real quick. Yeah. Um, if the market drives down, um, like we have seen in the past, and we'll see yeah. again. So, yeah, awesome. And any uh, kind of passing comments as we uh, transition out, mate? Anything else that you would want to share uh, with anyone that's watching this, whether it's a client of ours or uh, whether it is um, someone who's thinking about working with us? 
Yeah, uh, I think this is one of the most exciting places to be either as an investor, an educator, um, an observer uh, that we potentially will see in our lifetime. So I know that's a that's a big call, but I think this is up there with the dot com boom uh, in terms of how how transformative and, and revolutionary and disruptive that this will be. I, I I really can't see an end to the limits of the disruption that will come from. I mean, not only Bitcoin, but and I think that's something that a lot of people miss is it's it's probably poorly labeled cryptocurrency. It's you, you've got multiple different use cases, utilities, you know, layer ones, layer twos that are looking to, you know, scale software and, and applications and, and some to do completely different things. It, it's a space that has so many different use cases and, and exciting pathways forward. So, um, uh, yeah, I, I think this is a, an incredible time to, to be alive, to be honest. Yeah. And the, the world is, and again, I, I don't want to end on doom and gloom, but the world is going to go through a pretty rough period over the next few years. Um, and I think glass half full on the other side will get will absolutely get through it for the better. But this will be a phase of tremendous disruption, um, fear. Uh, and I, I think it's, it's how we go through this that really will show us what will happen on the other side and i think we're in a good spot uh, if we didn't have what we have here um, with crypto i, I think uh, yeah the world would be a lot darker place for the outlook in the next 10 to 20 years but um yeah i think i'll probably leave it on that but um yeah it's an exciting place to be yeah i really like your comment it's an exciting time to be alive and mm -hmm. i think that's such a great mindset to have because in these situations where it is or can be a challenge for a lot of investors they they look from a fear perspective or a, a place of loss rather than here's the biggest opportunity we've ever seen in, mm. in financial history sitting on our doorstep right now. Yeah. People will wish that they had had the experience that we uh, have been through and are currently going through um, mm. 50, 100 years down the track when we look back at this. The same as when people look back at .com and said, I wish I was there. So yeah, yeah. really cool. Anyway, mate, thank you so much for tuning in. Thanks for all the incredible work that you do with all of our clients and the, the success and the wisdom and the knowledge that you impart um, on them is, is revolutionary for that success. So thank you for that. And thank you everyone for tuning in uh, and watching this. If you've got any more questions uh, for Sam around what he's done or anything, feel free to reach out. I'm sure he'd be happy to have a chat. Thanks everyone. Ciao.